This is your baby, right, Steve? Yeah, this is kind of my baby. So we developed the elevator positioning system probably three years ago. It's called the Reflex 3.14, and it uses an encoder, a multi-turn encoder. Or a, it's multi-turn means that it, it keeps counting. It tracks position even if it doesn't have power. That's the difference between a regular encoder. So this one, you send a signal to it to say, hey, this is zero. And from there on out, it will count. And it doesn't just spit out pulses. It actually gives you back the position of how far it's been turned. So that's pretty key to the whole system. Now, what we did was a typical hydraulic elevator, if you've ridden in one that's really slow, sometimes you just set the slowdowns at a bad spot. And what they'll do is they'll take a magnet and they'll stick it on a piece of tape and the sensor goes by. And every time it goes by that same spot, it starts to slow down. So we thought, why can't we move that slowdown distance since we have an encoder with a little microprocessor on top of the elevator, we can move that slowdown system, distance and adjust it when every time you leave the floor, every time you run, to try and get it to slow down and level the least amount of time possible. So you can only do so much because of valve consistency, but we did a lot of studying and a lot of looking at it to say, how tight can we make the leveling time? So I can show you what a typical elevator system levels in. So four to five seconds is what they say from an industry standard. You should set your leveling time for four to five seconds so you would adjust that magnet so to make sure that you slow down and once you get into slow speed you go in that little slow speed for about four to five seconds and the reason you need that is if the oil temperature gets cold that time will shorten up to about a second so you need four to five seconds to make sure you don't overshoot in the morning when the elevator has been used all night so if we take a look at the elevator here this is kind of what four to five seconds of leveling looks like So that's about four seconds. That's, a, that's average, right? Yep. Now you can watch it come down. That's maybe four seconds of leveling in the up and down direction. Now that leveling time will be in the up direction will be four seconds with the car empty. You start putting weight in the car and that time starts to drag out. In a typical elevator, if you go from empty to full capacity, you'll probably double your leveling time from four to five seconds to eight to nine, ten seconds. That's a lot. So yeah, and a lot of times elevators are adjusted just poorly. So if you ride an elevator and it's just yourself in the elevator and you time that slow amount of time, sometimes you'll see that it's got eight or nine seconds. Those could be just adjusted down to four to five. So I see that a lot when I ride around. This system automatically sets that distance for you. So I'm gonna go in here and turn it on in what we call adapt mode. And I'm just gonna enable it. Right now it's disabled, so you saw how it ran before. Yep. I hit enable. So what we're doing now is we are actually looking at the acceleration of the elevator and based on the acceleration curve, we've already measured the slowdown distance during the setup. I didn't show you all the setup, but we've measured the acceleration curve time and we measured the slowdown time. And based on those two things, now every time the acceleration changes, like when you put weight in the elevator, it'll accelerate quicker and you can slow down a little bit later. Because all you can right. the slowdown point a little later. So this is pretty good to watch the leveling signals here. Nine tenths of a second. So pretty, pretty quick. From so four to nine tenths of a second. Now, which one brings it back down? We hit the shift and the down button. Shift, down. Now yeah. let's watch come down together. Oh, shift, down. There, I hit it.
two seconds. Yeah, maybe a little under two seconds. I mean, it's, it's pretty slick, the difference in the amount of time. Yeah, now let's watch that in real time. Send it up. This is with the reflex turned on. Four seconds without it. Now watch it turned on. Almost instant. Now bring the car back down, please. And I'll show it over here. Here it comes. <laughs> Steve, your reflex system is pretty impressive. Thank you. So, since it was so impressive, I think we should take a quick ride on it. We'll get a look at it from up on the top. Now watch this when the call was registered. It lights up in there, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. MEI, Total Elevator Solutions. And here we go, we got a little bit more weight in the car. One less than a second. And this, you said it runs on that tape, right? on that on rip, belt. on that belt. Yep. This unit right here is what analyzes those signals, right? Yep. When the oil is cold, we give you more distance. So you don't have to have four to five seconds to compensate for cold oil because we're going to do that automatically. We monitor the oil temperature and when it gets cold, we just uh, give you a little more distance to slow down, which is just a few trips in the morning. But when it's warm, we dial you right in. That's a pretty impressive product there, Steve. Thank you for showing it to me. Thanks.